Hello, this is Suzanne and a social networks video. So today I'm going to show you a little bit how to use Scratch um, using the sprites and how to make it move. Um, so we're going to have a look at the motion tab and I'm going to show you how to um, move the sprite in different positions um, and also to draw a house so firstly we've got our sprite here this is what it's now called a, a sprite not a character a sprite and his name is actually scratch um, so this is where all the results will be and in this screen this is where all the instructions will be from the the tabs Okay, so firstly, we've got our um, cat scratch then. Um, we're not, we need to have, um, we've just got a white, white plain background. So firstly, we're going to change the background. Um, we're not going to actually choose a proper backdrop. We're going to go down to the bottom and choose an XY grid because this actually helps us to locate the exact position to make a square for our house. So we're actually on the motion tab and as you can see we need to uh, we're going to start making a making a scratch move into a square shape. Now what I mean by this is I'm going to drag him up here and make him move like this like this like this and back to the same starting position okay now I've moved my mm, sprite to this position and over on this side on the tab on the go to it automatically gives me the position so on this line on here is an X this line is called X and from this point from this point to the right is 0 to a positive 100 and 200 as you can see and then to the left is a minus 100 and a minus 200 so I've moved my sprite to this position which is where I'm going to start the square and we go to go to X 99 and 100 which is almost exactly on the spot of the the coordinates of um of here the where the lines are okay so we've got one position then i'm going to move to the second position so of our square so i'm going to move him here so then that will then change the coordinates see 106 and y minus 92 minus 92 is on the y line which is the vertical line so above this dot will be 100 and below it is minus as you can see so on the coordinates it's it's saying x positive and y negative so we move this across but i'm not going to link them together as yet okay so then we move the scratch again to the left and we get the corresponding coordinates again and then again to whoop, pick him up and put him here so we get the coordinates look nearly correct exactly not minus 97 and y 101 okay okay so now what we need to do is um, we go to the events tab and we pick up the block when with the flag clicked so we move that over to here and then we've got like a jigsaw um, quite link and it links to underneath here now if I press it it's not going to move because it's like no seconds it's like um, immediate so it's, you're not going to be able to see it moving so in that case we need to add a weight like for a 0.1 second or 0.2 seconds um, and then you'll see in each position here it waiting so you'll see it actually moving so we're going to go to the tab control 
um, and here is weight okay so we need I'm going to right click and duplicate because we need four of these for each position so two and wait no I don't want that right so we're going to put one second is too long so point one second is okay and then again and then again right and then we move the blocks the orange blocks in between the blue blocks I want to move that one out. Okay, so we move that one above and underneath. Right, now watch the mouse, uh, the, sorry, the cat, the scratch. Now you can see every time I press on it, it moves. Okay, now if I don't, we don't want to keep pressing to do it, we can make it do it continuously. So we need to have the forever block and we clip it just under the flag. And if I now press it, it should continuously go round like that. Now, now you can see that it's moving continuously. We want him to draw a house or, or the square so in that case we need to go to get a pen so we're going to get a pen let's first stop this so he stops so we press the red button to stop the animation okay so we go over to this uh, button and we click on it and we go to the pen so then that downloads all the blocks for the pen. Okay, so firstly, we need to do pen down. So we put pen down block and put it underneath the flag. Then we need to put the pen size because we need to know the, the width of the, of the lines that it's going to make. So we'll put that at 10. Then we need to choose the actual pen colour. So we take this block and that will go under the forever block. Can you see that? OK, so what colour should we choose? We've got green. Let's make a pink. So we've got a pink there. OK, so now let's press the button and let's see what happens. And as you can see, we've made scratch go round in a square. Right, now if you want to make him glide, um, we can make the, there's a roof bit here at the top. We can make him glide over to draw the roof part. Okay, to make the roof, we're going to move, we're going to use the glide button. It moves, it's, it works the same way as doing the moving. We're going to move Scratch to where we want him at the top of the roof. Okay. And we're going to get the coordinates, but on the actual glide block. Can you see? Glide one second and it's got the coordinates. So we put that here underneath now it's taking one second because gliding takes a little bit longer it's taking one second but that's a bit too long so we're going to change it to 0.5 seconds okay then we're going to move scratch down to this position and we're going to take the glide no not that one this one and put it underneath change that one also to 0.5 seconds 
And then we're also going to move him back across. So it does like a triangle movement. Okay, so we grab the glide again and put that on the last bit. Let's just move all this up. It's getting rather big. Okay, so we need to just change change that to point 5 and let's see what it does there you go so that's the basic of uh, moving uh, scratch to make a house see if you can do the same thing but try perhaps doing a different shape say um, a hexagon or um, a triangle or a rectangle um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a go yourself. Bye for now.